You've all seen a harvest seed in Minecraft. It might be useless, yes, but still, I mean, I use it. No, I don't. But what if I told you that this is ugly? This could be so much more. So today I had an idea. Why not create an even better heart of the sea, but in Blender? This is Minecraft's Heart of the Sea, recreated in a 3D modeling software called Blender. I first started by deleting the default cube and adding a sphere. The Heart of the Sea is a spherical eye that's surrounded by n naughty, n n n n natty, uh, Edward shells. Oh wait, I moved it up for some reason. I don't know why either. Scaled it up. I'll come back to these details later. And for now, I'm focused on the outer shell. It's shaped like a cube and is in shards of broken pieces once the heart of the sea is powered. I guess it's called a conduit, isn't it? Whatever, I already made the title of the video, leave me alone. I experimented with a cell fracture tool, which allows for meshes to break apart into smaller chunks. I started with the idea of many larger, more random pieces from a cube, but it didn't really fit the cubed look and it just made it seem very sloppy. But for now I held that off for me to edit the heart in the center, uh, because that's easier. I wanted to go with the eye idea, but it didn't really work well, and I didn't know how to do it. So I just added a ring to the middle, beveled it, and called it a day. I went back to fixing the outer shell and experienced a bit more with the cell fracture, but everything I tried was messy or prevented the heart from being visible. So I decided to cut out the middle of each face to give an opening so that the heart was visible. This didn't work very well, and I tried so many times. There's only one option left, and I can use the excuse that it has to be realistic, make the shell a sphere. This seemed to work if I deleted the debris in the middle and made an outer rim. I started getting in some lighting, but this definitely wasn't the final render's light source, for sure. I then began to color each shell a variety of colors, similar to shells to the real world. If you haven't gone outside, you wouldn't know. I'd learned that most shells come from the sand. How many of you knew that one? So I decided to make the shells more sandy and add a bit of texture. Now, there's this thing called ambient occlusion, which makes the textures of objects interact with shadows. It literally adds realism. The heart by now was kind of bland and untextured. I added a glass outer coating and a bloom effect to its center to add some unique lighting effects. I then thought, hmm, this is underwater. It needs something called water. I added a sphere, made it Mario 64 quality, and stretched it to make my tears after working on this project for a full day. I used Blender's hair system to incorporate the water droplets onto the heart. But wait, Mr. Royal, this is a conduit. It needs to be powered. <laughs> Idiots like you are impatient. I found a texture from Minecraft's prismarine blocks and slapped it onto a cube. I then added something called depth, which made it more dynamic. I copied this for a while until it created the shape of a fully powered conduit. All that was left was adding the environment, because why not? I found this great sky texture to use from Polyhaven, which I will link below. I also found this great tutorial to create water, and it came out great. I added a plane and added an ocean modifier that somehow grew to the size of the I needed to add a dark sphere to prevent light from coming from the bottom. I also had to give the water an inside, so I made a cube with a volume-based texture. This made the water seem more thick and not just air. Up next was my least favorite part, rendering. This part was so incredibly painful and I don't know why. The camera was so janky because of the rendering mode, so I just had to turn it off hoping it would look good in the final render. I eventually learned, with my idiot brain that I have, to use something I don't really use, split screen. Wow. This helped me to both position the camera and see its outcome without having to render the image. I had to make the resolution better without disrupting the aspect ratio, which wasn't easy. 4K was too much for the render and only put out half, and any smaller numbers were more blurry and pixel heavy. Do keep in mind that I had to render out the image entirely and each time that took about an hour. This wasn't an easy process. Eventually, I came to something that was fitting and actually showed all my work, unlike I do in school, and it came out better than expected. And with that, the Minecraft's Heart of the Sea went from this to this. Thank you all for watching, I do intend to do more of these in the future. Comment any other blocks you'd like to see, and I'll be reading them, so do not worry. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Peace!